Hey everyone, welcome to episode 22 of the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Monday, January the 11th and right now it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I hope you all are doing well. Today here it is cold and rainy and I, now that we're past the holidays, I'm ready for warm weather. It, you know, it's one thing to be cold, but then to have rain on top of it, it's just miserable. So, and the room that I'm in, in particular, is cold. So, it's like the coldest room in the house. So, with, with that, we'll just get on to what I have to show you today. I have four finished objects, four works in progress, and a little bit of acquisitions. So, we'll just get started. So, the first thing I want to show you is a crochet cowl that I made, that I finished. I have um, been working on this for the past few weeks, and now it's finished. Um, I've shown it in the past, I don't know, two or three podcasts, maybe, maybe just the past two. But at any rate, here it is. It's finished. I love the colors. They're coming out really well. And before I made this cowl, um, I made, um, probably before Christmas, I think, I had made air warmer to, that goes with it. So I made both of these, and if you see, it's got a really neat stitch to it. Awful, awful pretty. The colors are showing up nice. So the pattern for this is the Queen Bee Set by Dana Hogan. And I got this off of either Ravelry or Etsy. Well, you can get it off of either or, and I will link it down below. All the patterns and yarns, and whatever I can link below, I will. So the pattern I paid about roughly $5 for it, it might have been a little more and you got the head the headband or the ear warmer, the cowl and the fingerless mitts. Um I don't um I've said this before I'm not going to make the fingerless mitts. I really doubt it. Um so yeah, there it is and the yarn oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that strange? There's the seam goes on the diagonal. Here, let's see. <laughs> yeah although I didn't I just let the yarn go and go and go try and see if it does that on this one anywhere like where's the I can't see it as noticeable on this one well a little bit there yeah you can see it isn't that interesting anyway so the yarn that I used is excuse me, Red Heart Unforgettable, and the colorway is Stained Glass. This is a number four yarn, 100% acrylic. It has 270 yards, 100 grams. And I used um, one full ball of yarn and then a bit of this one, which I would say, I don't know, maybe I used a quarter of it, a third of it. Yeah. So I've got quite a bit of that. I could do the fingerless smiths. I just, no, I just don't, I don't know. I don't feel like it. I'm kind of, don't want to work on that pattern anymore. And the hook that I used is a six millimeter hook. Yep. So that's it for that. That was my first finished object. And my second finished object, um, let's see. Oh, yes. This is a, I don't know. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this is a crochet tutorial by Crystal at Bag a Day. And it is the headband she just came out with. The, or the head wrap, whatever. So there it is. And this is just scrap yarn. It's been sh shoved in my bag. So it's kind of looking... But it's really easy pattern and it's really I just I really love it I'm always looking for a headband pattern because they're quick and my kids like to wear them and I think I've I think I found one I really really like so yeah this is Crystal from Bag a Day her video tutorial and I will link her channel below or I, um I more specifically I will link I think I can do that. The video tutorial 
on her channel. So the yarn that I used, and I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can tell the little, there's bits of sparkle in there. And I love this yarn. Um, this is a Hobium yarn and I bought a ton of it and I'm starting to run out of it. Well, I have this much left. So I can get, I could probably get another headband out of it. Um, the, the yarn, this is Kartofu Melange Wool Luxe. Um, it's a hundred, no, it's 90, no, 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 no. 77 acrylic, 20 wool, and 3% metallic yarn. So it was 100 grams, um, 175 yards. And yeah, that's the yarn. I love this yarn. I have more of the Milan, I think it's melange wool, but I don't have any more with the sparkles in it. And not this color. I, I love this yarn. And I bought like, I bought a five pack at least. And this is what I have left. And the hook that I used was a six, the six millimeter. I'm going to put all these back. So I used this six millimeter. <coughs> this is a Susan Bates, which I don't normally use Susan Bates. I don't really have a preference to this. That's why a lot of people choose these. But there's something, even though, I'm going off on a tangent. Even though this is a short hook, like a, um, a bait. This is generally a larger, this longer. Even though these are about the same size, I don't mind this short, this, the length on this. But this, I don't know, maybe because it doesn't have a handle, this drives me nuts. This can drive me crazy, but I was okay with it. And I just, that was what I, I wanted, a six millimeter. And that was the first one that I grabbed. So that is my second finished object. Um, my, we'll stick with my last crochet finished object. Um, and this is, I just, I did a washcloth or dish cloth. This is from Creative Grandma. I can't remember which one it was. I just, I do have this pattern. I couldn't find it, but um, or I have it printed out. I'm sure I do. I couldn't, I could not find it. So I just followed her video tutorial and I made this, <coughs> excuse me, this dish cloth. It's the one that has something to do with spring. <laughs> And I think I used the exact one of the yarns that she used. I really um, enjoyed making this. It was really quick. And the yarn that I used for that was the Crafter's Secret Cotton. Um, the colorway is lemon. And this is 100% cotton. Um, how many yards? 80, 95 yards. Um... 57 grams and I have this much left and I used a five here we go this is a I use a five miller crochet hook this is a boy hook and it's a little bit longer I see it's a little bit longer and although I do love the clover hooks and stuff like that and I like the big handles like that I get from Leather, like this I like those hooks <clears throat> this five millimeter hook is like one of my, f this one in particular, or this, I have a few of these, these boy hooks, five millimeter. It's one of my favorite hooks. I love this hook. So if I have to do five millimeter, I always try to find this one. So that, that that's my third finished object. And I'll talk more about this after. Um, but Hopefully, every time I podcast, you'll be seeing a washcloth. But I'll talk about that after. All right, my final finished object. Let me get a sip of tea real quick. Is a knit hat. And this is uh, one of, it's one of Ross's hats. Now I'm forgetting it. <laughs> Starting grid, I think. I'll put that down. 
Well, here it is. Of course, it's too big for the mannequin, but it's perfect size. I don't look good in hats. I'll put it on though. See, it's a perfect size. I think it is. And this is the starting grid. I'll take it off and show you more of the details. I love this pattern. I'll be making more of these. I saw on his channel that he had made, I, I think it was the starting grid and also just one of his Ross hats, which is just a plain knit hat. He had made it in a colorway similar to this. Um, the colorway for this is um, <coughs> Chroma Worsted Weight in the colorway Go-Go -Go Boots. And I think he made his in, um, his was Chroma Twisted, but the similar or same colorway. And I only had one skein of this. I got this in a Knit Picks mystery bag. And I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to make his hat. And I really, I really like this pattern. I'll be making more of these. I like it. And this is the top. Mm. The yarn um, kept pulling, or I kept pulling when I was sewing it up. I kept pulling some of the stitches. Tried to fix it, but. So yeah, I had this much yarn left. Um, I don't think it's enough for this size hat. Uh, I don't, haven't weighed it yet. I should try to do that or bring my scale in here because I mention it and I don't think about it until I'm in here. But um, So yeah, this is the Chroma Worsted. The colorway is Go Go Boots. It's 100 grams, 198 yards. And it's 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon. It's a number four. Yeah, because I said worsted weight. So that's the yarn. And I, the needles I used um, for the brim, which I do a little different than Ross. I do a two by two. And his, I can't remember what his calls for, but it's not two by two. Just personal preference. And I used a four millimeter <coughs> needle, 16 inch circular needle. Um, which is just a preference, personal preference that I like to do. And then the body of the hat is, um, five millimeter needle, um, 16 inch circular. And then I used DPNs to close the top. Sometimes I'll get a magic loop and do it. Um, but I've been doing, using my DPNs cause they're a lot easier to get to than my, um, than my, um, my, my knitting needles on cords, you know, I have to go dig and find the right size. And so there's my, that's my last finished object. Oh, I do have it here. Look at that. This is it. Yes. The starting grid by Ross Rochester. He's got a U YouTube channel. Smells like yarn, but he also has a website where you can, Download this pattern and quite a few other patterns, and they're all free. Um, I will link both down below so that you can, um, well, for sure, the um, website, so that, you know, if you're interested in any of his patterns, you can go there. He's got really, really good instructions, for, especially if you're just starting out knitting in that. His instructions are really, really, really quite thorough, and they explain everything to a T. Okay, all right, so now we can move on to works in progress. Um, I will start with, I only have one crochet works in progress. I had finished other than my languishing whips, which I don't want, I, mm, that's another day, another story, another, no. But I didn't have any other crochet, so I wanted to start something crochet, um, even though I have, you know, I have two knitting whips that are gonna take me a long time. So I've been wanting to do this pattern for a long time. Look at that, it's one of my tea dottles bags. I have like all her bags here. That's a tea dottles bag. That's a tea dottles bag. <laughs> That's a tea dottles bag. But this time I got a big tea dottles bag. Look at it. 
I wouldn't mind having a bag with that fabric. I wonder, can you, I bet you you can reverse this. Well, oh, there's my pen. Mm, I mean, I guess you could, but that would kind of, having that on the outside. I say that because her smaller bags are reversible. All right, anyway, so we'll get on to the project. So this, I've wanted to do this crochet project <coughs> for a long time. I bought this pattern a while ago, and it is the Nanton, Nanton Cowl. Um, of course, it's in black and white, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, this is by Jarab Creations, Nicole. Um, she has a podcast on, she has a podcast here on YouTube. She hasn't posted in a long while, but I'll, I'll link it. She also has an Etsy shop where I bought this. Um, so basically it is, it's crocheted and it's different sections with different stitches and what I'm doing, and then you can use, you know, like minis for each section. I'm, at least that's what I'm doing. So this is what I have done so far. I've not got far on it. And it calls for fingering weight yarn. I gotta, I'm losing my stitches here. Okay. This is what I have so far. I can't get rid of them. This is it so far. It's a cowl. Did I say? It? Yeah. And the yarn that I'm using is, I should have gotten, I have another one of these, but I didn't, that's not, the, you know, I have bought two of these. Anyway, I'm using these yarns. I've used a bit of this one, and I've used a bit of this one, and that's how they came, like that. I got these at Hobby Lobby clearance this, was it this year? I can't remember. Um... But it's Yarn B, which is Hobby Lobby brand, Pigment and Fiber, and the Colorway City Girl. These are fingering weight yarns. Um, so it tells you the yards for all the yarns. It is 630 yards, 150 grams, 60% acrylic, 20% wool, and 20% nylon. And I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. It's really incredibly soft. And I'm just going to, I think it actually went like, I think it went like this. So I'm just gonna follow like that and see where I get. Um, and I think that with each section I'm gonna, change the yarn. She's, you don't really have to, you can do what you want, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's my first works in progress and my, the only crochet project that I worked on this past week. And the rest of these are knitting. I'll show you my socks next. And I hope, I can't wait to be done with these socks. So these are socks for my husband. I still have in my Christmas bag. <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't remember where I, I well, let me see if I still have, yeah. So the last time I podcast, I had knit up, cause I do cuff down. So I had knit the cuff and all the way to here. And then, so I finished the rest of the sock. So I finished one sock. I haven't put my heel in yet. I decided to do both socks first and then do the heel. You know, I decided to knit the socks first and the heels last. So there's this one. Um, I don't know if I said this. I think I did. This is for my husband. And then I'm getting close on this one. I've got this much done on this one. 
That's where the heel is. So I think I have about 15 rows before I um, start decreasing for the toe. And then I will do the heel. And I'm just going to do the heel in the same yarn. But these are just... Um, I just can't wait for them to be done. I want to start some colorful and, you know, the yarns kind of, it's not as easy to work with as other sock yarns. So the yarn I'm using is Patton's, Peyton's Croy sock um, in the colorway flax. It's a super fine number one, although if you're familiar with Patton's Croy socks or Peyton's, however, you know, it's a bit, it's a, more like a two it's not really a one and let's see it is 75% wool 25% nylon I am using a 2.5 millimeter knitting needle I do magic loop um, and these are chow goos and the yarn is first of all the color other I mean I like the color knit up but it's kind of you know it's getting a little it's getting a little boring there you know the, the yarn it just I just don't it just doesn't as smooth as like with other sock yarns I, I am these are gonna be nice and warm and sturdy and tough socks though so these I just did <coughs> two by two rib for 15 rows I think this is like 50 rows and then I'm doing about 72 rows and then do do the do the toe. Yep, so that's my second work in progress. And I hope and pray next time I podcast that I will have cast on some new socks. I hope so. Very much. Alright. So my next works in progress is my sweater. This is one of Ella's bags from No Catchy Name. Because along with Star Wars, the Peanuts, in particular Snoopy, is... That's my thing. Alright, here we go. This is my sweater. And I finally split for the sleeves. Yay! Alright, that's for his waist yarn. I don't need that now. So here it is. This is my sweater. Am I in the front or the back? Okay, this is the front. So now it's looking a little bit more like a sweater because I've split for the sleeves a little bit more. I can't see what you're seeing. So that's it. Um, last time I podcasted, I was here. I was here and so I knit all that and I've split for the sleeves so it's starting to look like a sweater okie doke the pattern is a basic raglan by Hohi Locatelli this is it the back of the sweater and this is the front of the sweater. Okay. It's a DK, um, DK weight sweater. And I am using, this is the yarn I'm using. It is City Tweed DK weight plum wine, 123 yards, 50 grams. Um, well, each skein is 50 grams. Um, and 123 yards. This is Knit Picks. This is a Knit Picks yarn. It is 
a number five, it's DK weight. It's 55% merino wool, 25% super fine alpaca, and 20% donical tweed. And I'm using a number four. Um I'm using no, I'm using four millimeter knitting needles. And all my ends because it's only 50 grams. So you have to, you know, I think that's like, this is the third, the third ball in here so far. So that's it. That's my sweater. I'll make sure I didn't, nope, I was good. I could put needle thingies on here, but nah. All right. So my last works in progress is something I started and just barely started and then just let sit there. <clears throat> and then Helen from Crochet Moments asked me, asked me about it. Um, she had gotten, whoop, wait one second. I don't wanna lose my pattern. She had gotten this book for Christmas and she had asked me about, or she said, in her video, she said, oh, Melissa, you were making this. Have you made any progress on it? And, you know, I thought, well, okay, I'll get it out and work on it. So I did. It's, you know, it's color work, obviously. And I made, you know, I made a little bit of progress. This will be something that will probably take me all year to finish. Because I'm pretty slow at color work. I'm not like, I'm, you know, it's not, I, I probably have made fair, I've made very few things, very few things color work. I've made very few color work things, hats and cowls about it. Oh, I can't show you that. Anyway, what am I doing? Okay, so here it is. It's, you know, it's all scrunched up on the needles. But here it is so far. I think the last time that I showed it, um, I don't know. I was like barely here. So, yep. Yeah. And then, so there's, there's the bus. And then it's on the other side too. Um, down here had a little trouble but I'm leaving it with my, I thought, okay, I thought that I carried my floats too much. Um, but I corrected it up here. It's a little bit better. I mean, you know, having a little bit of um, a learning curve with the tension because I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it like this. I'm knitting it like this. And my left hand is basically useless, so I have a little bit of trouble. I'm getting better at it, though, so the tension I'm having to get used to. I've tried be to do it. Um, you know, people hold it in one hand, and no, that's even more confusing to me. I can't do that. I can't even get it right in my hand. How you do it? No. So I knit with like this. So the tension problem I have is because I'm not used to knitting with the yarn in my left hand. Um, but I'm okay with it. I mean, I, you know, I'm well happy with it. I, you know, I know my kids will be fighting me for this. But if I do get it finished, it's mine. So when I'm using, I think these are five millimeter Yep, these are five millimeter, 16 inch circulars. See a little bit of the blue there. And the yarn I'm using is, um, I'm just gonna get, let's see. I'm using Stylecraft. Stylecraft, <clears throat> Stylecraft Special Aaron. Um, I'm using this color, which is, 
copper using this color, this color. Let me get the ball bands out if I have them in here. I think that, I think that's it. Yeah, there's four colors. These are them. These are the four colors. Come on. I've got, I don't know if you can see, bags over there hanging up with the rest of the yarn. So let's go through the names. So I said this one was copper. Um, this is parchment. Um, this is denim. It's not, there you go. And this one is plum. It's not that bright. So like I said, Stylecraft Special Erin, 100 grams. Um, it's 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 214 yards. And I got this off of Lovecrafts, I think. I ordered it a long time ago and it's very very soft it is a nice um you know it's like um it's soft like um I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby it's soft like that so that is my last work in progress I'm, I'm happy with how that came out except for these I don't know if you can see these windows here kind of puffing out because I just cared, I thought I could, I thought that was okay to carry my floats that many stitches, but it wasn't. So I didn't carry them as much here. Don't mind that. <laughs> and they're not puffing out, so that's good. So I imagine, you know, it'll look better and better the more I do because I'll have more practice. And then I have my little Harry Potter stitch marker. You can see. So that's it. That's it for my works in progress. Oh, I don't even think I said. Well, you, I showed it to you. So the name is the Wizarding Transportation Scarf. And this book here is by Tannis Gray. And the pattern, yeah, this was designed by Tannis Gray as well. Because they have patterns in here designed by other designers. <coughs> okay, now we just have my a little bit of acquisitions. This, uh, not this weekend, but the weekend before, we went for a drive to Ella J, Georgia. And there is a really fun knitting shop there, LYS. Um, it's called, oh, I'm going to make sure I get it right. I don't Strings and Stitches. And I, I went in there and I bought this. And I bought a quantity, a sweater's quantity of it. So I have like eight balls of it. Isn't it pretty? I'm just gonna do a basic, you know, very basic sweater because there's a lot of busy, busyness going on there. So I don't know, I might just do the, um, I mean, I could do this sweater again, but I don't think I will. Oh, I don't know, I'm just gonna do a basic sweater or cardigan. Um, so this is Barocco Sesame. It is, um, 100 grams, 230 yards. And the colorway, do they have a colorway on the label? Um, I don't know if they have a colorway on here. I don't know what the colorway is. I think it is on the, um, I, I looked it up on... Lovecrafts, and there is a colorway on there, but I don't see it on the label. So what is it? It's 43% wool, 39% acrylic, 9% cotton, and 9% nylon. And when I was in her shop, it's the only thing I got there too. Um, I only bought this. Uh, well, only. is eight. I bought eight balls of them. Um, when I was in her shop, she had a sweater, a sample sweater knit up with this, and it was gorgeous. Of course, Cause there's there's some pattern that goes with this and it's very detailed and stuff and I um 
I don't think I'll do that. I'll just do something, just a basic sweater. But isn't that going to be pretty? I can't wait. Oh, we'll see. So, you know, I, I have to not look at it because I don't need to have two sweaters on the go. I can tell you that. All right, and my last acquisition is another bag from Cottontail Farms. Look at that. Yep, this is Cottontail Farms. I'll Like I said, I'll put everything down below. Look at this little thing. An inch thingy on there. That's cool. Um, she's got these. You can take them off if you want. And the inside of the bag has got pockets. She's got a pocket there. And it's a good size bag. So, yes, I love my bag. She's going to have another update this weekend. And she's got a new design for bags. So, that is it. Oh, <coughs> one thing I wanted to say. You know, everybody, it's the new year. Surprise. It's the new year, and everyone sets goals. And um, I'm not re really ever done that before. Um, but I would like to... A couple things I would like to do. I would like... Because I need to work through my... Um, I would like to work through cotton yarn. Um, and I thought I would, because I hear this all the time, like 52, um, 52, you know, um, washcloths, you know, one each week or whatever. And so that's what I would like to do. I would like to knit or crochet at least one washcloth, dishcloth, something like that with cotton one a week. So that's one thing I'd like to do. And I like to keep a tally to see if I, you know, if I make it or not. And then another thing I'd like to do, I'd like to mark how many hats I make. Because I make a lot of hats. I think I do. Um, so I want to count how many hats I make. Kind of tally that up. And then I also want to um, see how many socks I make this year. So I want to keep a tally of that. I'm not a prolific sock, sock knitter. I, you know, I'm, I'm probably last year knit at least one a one pair a month so that's 12 socks so see that's not like i mean i know some people knit like 60 socks which you know i have too many other things going you know i always have like multiple things going so i'd like to do that so that's kind of really it for me but i really would like to work through my cotton and make a bunch of um washcloths i have other cotton that is that is I wouldn't use it for washcloths that I would, you know, when the summer comes, I'll want to make like bags and stuff like that. So, yeah, so here's, well, here's one for last week. And so I've got to think of another pattern or I could do this one again. It was easy. Um, and I, hopefully every time I podcast, I'll have a new washcloth. We'll see. Maybe two washcloths. You never know. All right, guys. So thank you so much. If you stuck around this this long, I appreciate it. And I would appreciate if you would um, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.